Hello everyone, welcome to Repo Funnel Tuesday, where I'll be analyzing a marketing funnel end-to-end, -end, starting from the ad copy and the offer, down to the landing page and the different touch points I had to go through before I filled out a form. Once I've claimed the offer, what were the automations that were triggered from phone calls, emails, SMS retargeting, and so on. Today I'll be talking about a company called Ads Near Me. They are selling Google local business placement or optimization. I found them on Facebook. This is the ad. You can see right here, the copy is promising a little bit too much. I'll read it to you. Dominate the top of Google search results with ads near me. Stop losing sales to your competitors. Our skilled professionals will get you more leads and sales for only $69 a month. Now the copy seems too good to be true in my opinion, especially that this particular sector has been abused a lot by scammers and companies that promise you this, but they never deliver. Now I'm not saying this is the case with ads near me. They might be a legitimate company, but the price and the copy are just too good to be true. Now this is the, the graphics. I think it's uh, decent. It communicates what they're offering. And the CTA here are your are competitors stealing your sales. So they're playing on that emotion of, you know, you, you have leads and <laughs> your competitors taken away from you. They are using Facebook uh, lead form. And here you can see pre-populated uh, pre -populated my information, which is convenient when it comes to opt-ins. It speeds up the process. There's no landing page involved. However, there's a limited real estate for you to use. All right. You can see my information were pre-populated by Facebook. And once I click next, it took me to this verification call pending. So it seems like they've configured they've configured this or they have some configuration in Facebook that pushed me to a call center, probably through APIs or third party connectors or something like that, because I immediately received a phone call from an associate. And I'll get to that in a second. Now I couldn't find their landing page anywhere. So I had to visit their Facebook page and from there find their website. Not much to discuss in terms of UTM tagging because there's no landing page or flow involved. Let's look at their uh, homepage. I'm going to analyze it, although it's not necessarily meant to be a landing page. So the elements of removing distraction and stuff, uh, I will not account for. I think overall, they seem to be doing a good job for the, in the layout. This limited offer seems to be, you know, tacky for me because it repeats itself uh, every time I visit the page. Now below is are some additional information. There's no video. Everything here is showing me Google ad reviews and ads. Uh, sorry, Google reviews and Google map placements. What I did like about this particular page, although it's way too cluttered, is that they did give us a lot of options to contact them. There's a phone number on the top right, which is clickable. There is an option for me to fill out form and get contacted by somebody. Okay, very convenient. There's a chat option as well. And if I scroll down, there is actually a form that I can fill in. Okay. They have qualifying questions here. What kind of industry? And look, by looking at this, it seems they're targeting local businesses. Don't shy away from adding qualifying questions to your forms because it's going to help you determine if the person filling in the, the form is the proper lead for you to pursue. They do have a social proof right here, guys. So I think this is um, pretty solid, although it's interfering with the user experience a little bit. Uh, it is taking me to this page, which didn't quite um, have much going on, you know, just some, some information, office by owner. So they seem to be legitimate companies and I highly encourage you to read the reviews. You know, obviously reviews and word of mouth referrals are very important. In a particular case of As Near Me, because of the price, which if I scroll down, I'll show you, $39, right? So they are relying on volume, volume, volume. Now, you'll notice something on the ad, it was 69 when I landed on the page 39. So it keeps on giving me some red flags that I cannot trust this. But again, this might be completely the wrong, the wrong sentiment and As Near Me is a perfect company, right? 
but from a thought process of the person interacting with the ad and going through the funnel, this there's a, a discrepancy and an inconsistency in the copy and the offer and so on. Try to avoid that by all costs when you are crafting your funnel. I think the page is decent, won't go too much into the details. They have most of the items covered, but it is a home page of a website after all. All right, so once I filled out the form on Facebook, I immediately got a call from an agent. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna to show you what happened after I clicked on the ad. Let me just get my pen here. So I got a phone call. So I'm just gonna say phone. This means they are using some automated outbound dialer that queues in submissions and I got routed to the first available agent. The agent was pretty professional. Uh, he explained to me the program, what I get, and all the details involved. Uh, no hidden fees, nothing else. And that was it. There was no additional follow-ups, no call to action, no closing, no hooks. And it stopped when I said, okay, I'll, I'll let you know if I'm interested. Now let's look at what I received from an email perspective. I got two emails from them in a matter of a week. You can see they're going out from the company, not from people. There is, uh, the, the subject line is repeating the same exact copy. This is in a different way. Increase your revenue, get more sales with local ads on Google. The pre-header is set up, so they did a good job there. But if I go to the first and the second, you can see there's no personalization. It's really, you know, very broad, general. It's not communicating to me directly. I mean, the email looks nice from a design perspective, but it, it is lacking some serious, you know, company tone, personality, that type of stuff. They do have some options here uh, of what the offer is about and the main CTA that takes me back to the site. Now the footer is pretty much buttoned up with the address, unsubscribe, so they are fully spam compliant. And by looking at their headers, they are using Clavio and they have SPF DKIM set up, so they are good to go. You can notice that there's they are missing some DMARC setup, but that's not a big deal, all right? Second email that I received is this which is almost a mod slight modification of the copy of the first one. What are you getting? And get started. So if I am to map this, I also got two emails. Okay, I'm just gonna do, call them EMs. I was not retargeting at all, okay. Um, and from the email, I was redirected back to the site. That's it. This is their internal funnel, the entire funnel end to end. I do have, you know, some general scoring here. The ad is good. There's no page, but they are not relying on the landing page flow. They have an automatic dialer, which is slightly different than what I've analyzed before. Um, the phone call was good, but weak on the closing. The two email follow-ups were without personality. I couldn't you know, relate to the brand. It still sounds too good to be true. And it's missing some additional, I would say content that could be delivered to me as a local business interested in their offer. This is it guys, I give them about seven, uh, primarily because of the personality that's lacking and the offer that's not consistent, too good to be true and too many promises and that's it. If you like this segment, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next week on an upcoming case study.